Welcome back to my channel on Pilates by Carol. In this series, I'll be guiding you in a mindful Pilates practice that will help to relieve your back pain. So today is episode three. You can click on the link below to watch episode one and two. More importantly, if you have herniated this, okay, or you have difficulty doing a flexion and it's not recommended by a doctor, then this practice will not be suitable. Okay, if not, then you can grab hold of your yoga mat or your Pilates mat. Just make sure that your practice mat is at least 8mm in thickness to support your back. So if you're ready, let's begin. Let's begin by sitting at the top of the mat like that, okay, with the feet okay hip distance apart and the knees hip distance apart just make sure you feel comfortable okay and let's just sit tall first so we're going to start with the breathing exercise so hands here okay on your knees or your sheen inhale now as we exhale we're going to nod the head and slowly flex forward rounding the mid back and slowly glide the hands forward and just opening up the meat okay back okay so we can really feel okay the expansion of the mid back as we inhale and exhale relax the neck two more deep breath inhale and exhale last time inhale deeply and exhale inhale okay exhale slowly come up okay and have the awareness okay to sit really tall in neutral spine alignment and inhale here exhale release okay so we continue okay to just make form a diamond shape okay with the legs like that okay so your knees apart so you release the hips slightly and from here we're going to turn to the right side so the left hand will be inside of the diamond okay and then the other hand outside just make sure that we feel the spinal rotation here and from here, we're going to form a C curve with the spine. So we're going to flex the spine and slowly allow the forehead to move a little bit closer to the knees. Now, don't go too deep. Okay, make sure your both sit bone okay, is down on the mat. And just breathe into the meat and lower back. At the same time, relax your hips, your knees. Relax your arms. The arms just to support so that your shoulders are leveled. Okay. And inhale deeply. Can okay, exhale. Okay, slowly inhale, coming up. Okay, and sitting tall, looking far. Okay, and slowly come back to center. Inhale. Exhale to the other side. So your right hand will be inside the diamond and just feel the spinal rotation. And from here, we're going to round the spine to a C curve first. And then allow the forehead to maybe go a little bit closer, okay, to your left knee, okay, without popping the right knee. So relax the right knee and the right hip. And we breathe deeply into the mid and lower back. And exhale, one more deep breath. Feel, okay, the stretch and also release on the exhalation. Slowly come up. Okay, looking far, so we are aware of the head and neck alignment and coming back to center. Okay, and relax. Okay, so we're gonna start with the first Pilates exercise, which is the half roll back. Okay, to open up the back, to articulate the spine. So we sit on top of the mat with the knees and your feet hip distance apart, hands under your knees, or you can imagine you have a yoga block or physically place a yoga block between your knees, all right? So sitting tall, chin parallel to the floor. Now, without collapsing, inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna round the lower spine, round the mid spine, slowly walk the hands back. Okay, we gaze around the knees. Okay, relax the shoulders and breathe deeply into the lower back. Okay, now do not strain your back. You don't need to go too low. Inhale here as you exhale, maintain this C curve. And we're going to have the crown leading, leading forward. Okay, 
and then lastly somewhere when shoulders over the hips we slowly lengthen sequentially from lower spine neck and through the crown one more time inhale and exhale rounding the lower back rounding the mid back okay and you can walk your hands okay back a little bit if you are going to Go a little bit deeper, but you don't need to. Okay, you can keep the belly drawn to your spine. Inhale, exhale, crown forward, maintain the C curve. Okay, and stay here. Inhale, and exhale. And last time, so let's do three times to warm up the spine. Inhale, exhale slowly. Okay, we're going to round the lower back. And we're going to our C curve. Relax the shoulders, don't squeeze the shoulders, breathe into the lower back, exhale, crown forward, and slowly lengthen from the lower spine, mid spine, neck, and through the crown, looking far, breathing, and relax. Okay, so from here, we're going to roll down, okay, or you can also turn to the side and slowly lie down on the mat. But if you're comfortable, we're going to slowly, with the hands supporting, we're going to slowly round the spine and release the spine down to the mat, slowly. Okay, and then lastly, okay, you're going to have your head, okay, yeah, back the head, okay, relax comfortably. If there's tension, okay, in your neck, you can have a towel, okay, maybe a folded towel, and place it at the back of the head to release any tension, to elevate the uh, head slightly. Okay, now we're going to practice the hip roll, okay. So hands beside your hips, knees and your feet, hip distance apart. Okay, fingertips reaching to the end of the mat. So now we're in neutral spine alignment without squeezing your knees, okay. Keep your knees, hip distance uh, apart throughout. Inhale. As we exhale, we're going to round the lower back, go into imprint, meaning the lower back kissing the mat. Inhale here, exhale, peel the spine off the mat one vertebra at a time. Okay, and make sure here you don't arch your back. Okay, we maintain okay, a good alignment here. Inhale and exhale, slowly release down. You can visualize the spine like a string of pearl. We release one pearl at a time, release the lower back, relax your buttocks and relax your hip flexor. Lastly, okay, make sure your thighs are not tensing. One more time, inhale, exhale, we're going to imprint, okay, and slowly peel the spine off the mat all the way up to your shoulder blades, okay, so knees to your shoulders here, one straight line, okay, inhale, and exhale, slowly release the spine down, upper spine, mid spine, lower spine, feel okay, the stretch okay, and then slowly release the buttock and then lastly relax the hip flexor and then relax the thighs okay let's do the last time okay with the hip roll inhale exhale going to imprint and slowly peel the spine off as we are doing this you can also feel the activation okay of the buttocks okay the inner thigh inhale and exhale, slowly release down. If you feel strain and low back, you're not doing correctly. So you'll be very uh, mindful of the reminders that I give you. Okay, and slowly release down and relax the buttock, relax the hip flexor and relax. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring the knees towards the chest, hug the legs for a moment, roll the head sideways, release any tension. Coming back to center, okay, we're gonna lower one foot down. Let's stretch out the legs for a moment, okay? And bring the arms up over your head. Stretch through your heels, your fingertips, stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, release. So let's do a gentle spinal rotation stretch, okay? We bend the knees slightly. Roll the buttocks to one side, probably to your right side, okay? And then the knees allow it to just relax. So your head is gonna Go to the opposite side, okay, and breathe into the side of the body. Deep breath. On your exhalation, release all the tension. Inhale back to center and exhale. So the more relaxed you are, you're actually going to a deeper stretch and you're doing very slowly. Okay, so all right, you can always yeah, pause at any time, don't go too deep, okay. But relax, you're able to relax and breathe. 
and slowly come back to center. All right, good. So next, we're going to practice the deep breathing core activation. It's very simple, but it's very deep. But it's also a good foundation to understand okay, how to do uh, the abdominal strengthening okay, in this position. So from here, we're going to have the hands behind the head. So the thumbs behind the earlobe, fingertips behind your eyes, elbows slightly off the mat, shoulders away from your ears. So we're going to start by having okay, maybe the right knee up. Okay, your right knee over your right hip and then when you're ready slowly draw the left knee up make sure okay the lower back kissing the mat so we're not arching okay just kissing but neither are we pressing the lower back into the mat okay so you don't protect the back here your knees and your feet hip distance apart now we're going to inhale not the head exhale flex the neck all right now, you're going to engage your abdominal muscles and you're going to flex your upper spine, gaze around your inner thigh, elbows away. So let's just try to take six deep breaths if you can. If not, you can rest at any time. Okay, and then from here, we inhale to the side and also to the back. And exhale, you draw the waist closer to the spine. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply to the side and back. As we exhale, draw the waist closer to the spine. Three more times if you can. Inhale. And exhale. So aware that we're not dropping the head down. Last two. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. So inhale here. Exhale slowly. Release the neck and head down. Palms down beside your hips, lower one foot down slowly and lower the other foot down slowly and then stretch out the legs and bring the arms up overhead. Stretch through the heels, your fingertips and then just gently relax the legs okay, and release any tension in the body. Okay. And next we're going to slowly bend the knees, let's roll to the side and then we go to another position. Okay. So from here, let's go on the tabletop. We're going to have the palms shoulder width apart in this position and the knees, okay, hip, uh, hip distance apart. So from here, okay, you can see from the alignment from the side, okay, shoulders directly over the wrist and your hip directly over the knees. Press the fingertips down and aware that you're not dropping the head down. So you draw the belly up towards your spine but you're not rounding the upper back, okay? So maintaining neutral. So neutral, you can visualize you have a bowl of soup okay, on your mid-back. Okay, the other thing you want to engage is your shoulder blades. Draw the shoulder blades to your lower back. Now, we're going to stay here and not spill the, the soup. Okay? So from here, without shifting the body, you're going to slowly extend the right knee and toes just touching. Basically, we are, we are trying to feel the weight of the right leg. So don't sink the hip down, neither do you want to shift the body to the side. Stay center and that's the challenging part. Okay, and make sure your elbow's not hyperextending. Now, if you can, only if you can, okay, if you don't feel the pain in your lower back, you can float the leg up to hip level. Don't arch your back, don't shift to the left side. Stay here, it's really not that easy. And slowly lower down. You can stay here or you can just do one more time with me. Do not drop the head down. Don't arch your back, okay, just to hip level, stretch out the legs and lower down and slowly knees down and stay here. Coming back to center, feel the center, okay, engage the shoulder blades, draw the belly towards the spine. When you're ready, slowly extend the left knee. If this movement is too easy, okay, probably you might not, you might have shifted the body, okay? So just pay attention to that. And you can just stay here. So because many times people will start to sink the hip down when the core muscles, the deep core muscles are not strong enough. If you can, okay, you can slowly float the leg up to hip level without dropping the head down. Rib cage placement neutral. Okay, and then we're gonna lower down. You can rest in this position. Or if you feel, feel okay, there's no back pain, okay, you're using the correct muscles, you can do one more time by floating the leg up, lengthen through the crown, lengthen through your toes, 
spine in neutral, you're not arching, okay, you're not arching, stay there, lower down, and lower the knees down, bring the knees together. Now, we're going to round the spine to a C curve and slowly rest in shell stretch. Okay, so if you've done yoga, it's like, it's similar to the child's pose. So, if you can, place your hands beside, relax the elbows, breathing deeply, exhale, release all the tension, one more deep breath, inhale, and exhale, inhale here, exhale, slowly curl up, coming up slowly, okay, and from here, okay, let's go on our knees to do a lateral flexion, okay, so you can have the knees hip distance apart like this, okay, or you can join me by extending the right leg like that. Okay, so just aware your toes and your knees on the same horizontal line. All right, now we're going to reach the left hand up like that. Okay, relax the shoulders. You can just stay like this or you can just gently stretch to the side. Okay, and just yeah, make sure you do not okay, bring the shoulders forward. Just feel the stretch and breathe into your left waist. Breathing. Breathing, okay, coming back. Feel very tall even though you're standing on your knees. All right, change to the other side, okay. So you can always do this with the knees down and that's fine, all right. So if you feel comfortable, we're gonna extend the left leg, okay. So your toes and your knees on the same horizontal line. Now look far where you gaze will determine your head and neck alignment. We're gonna reach the right hand up like that, shoulders away from your ears, and feel that lifting here. So now we're going to lift and slowly do, uh, do the lateral flexion. Okay, and this hand, just relax. And breathe into the side of the body. Breathing. So this is really good for those of you who might be, uh, you, know, you need to sit down for long hours. Okay, breathing, stretching. And inhale up and exhale and release. Okay, good. And now we're gonna relax the legs and let's come to the front part of the mat. So let's move to the front. And from here, okay, uh, I'm just gonna use a prop, okay, but you don't need to. The prop is just for you to visualize. From here, okay, so I'm just going to use the Pilates ring, but you don't need to. It's just to uh, let you visualize, okay, the size of the ring. So you can visualize this when you're practicing. So we're going to work on the obliques, okay, but we're going to do a half roll back and then moving, transit into the obliques, okay, practice. So we're going to start with the knees bent like that, okay, sitting tall first. All right, so your feet not too close, okay, not too far away. So sitting tall, so here you can visualize, okay, you're gonna have a Pilates ring, and if you have it, you can use it, okay? You place uh, the padded part, okay? Just okay, on your breastbone, and like that. All right, so you're like hugging a Pilates ring, and then the arms form a circle, and you don't drop the elbows down, so you can engage your shoulders properly. And sitting tall here first, like this, and inhale. Now, as we exhale without collapsing, we're going to round the low back and then we go into our C curve like what we did earlier in the half roll back. Okay, how far to go as long as your foot doesn't pop up? Okay, you can be here and that's fine also and relax your shoulders. So, from here, we're going to start by just twisting two times, okay, to the right side. And then from here, coming back to center. And then to the other side. Inhale. And then to the other side. And feel the twisting. Okay, without moving your knees. And coming back to center. Inhale. Exhale slowly, coming up. Okay, so now I'm going to do it without the ring so that, yeah. You know, to join you, okay, if you have, uh, if you do not have the Pilates ring, you don't need to have it, okay? So just visualize that your hands are like that, okay? So you're holding on to the Pilates ring, shoulders down, sitting tall first, okay, without squeezing your knees, okay? Inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to slowly, okay, round the low back, round the mid back, and go. Yeah, just think of the half roll back here, okay? Make a C curve here, inhale. Now exhale. 
Inhale back to center, other side. So two exhalation if you can. Coming back to center, inhale. Now exhale, the crown leading, and we come back and sit tall. Okay, let's relax the arms first. We're going to do it a second time, and this time as we lean back, we're going to reach okay, the lower hand down again okay, and come back. All right, so I'm going to, uh, let's practice together. So from here, sitting tall. Okay, so let's have the hands on the ring again and sitting tall first, inhale. Now exhale, we're going to round the lower back, okay, and slowly shift the weight back to uh, the back of the sit bone and then slowly exhale, exhale to your right. And if you can, maybe the right hand will reach like you're almost touching the floor and coming back and twist back, inhale, and we go, exhale, exhale to the left, inhale here, exhale, reach the left hand out, inhale here, exhale, inhale, exhale, coming back, and inhale, and exhale, relax the arms, okay? And from here, we're going to lie down on the mat, okay? So, we're going to work with the extension, but carefully, okay, especially if you have back pain. So, from here, let's make a pillow with the hands like that. Okay, we relax our feet, relax the neck and shoulders. Breathing, breathing. So, before we start, I would like you to imagine there's an ice cube under your belly okay so you draw the belly towards your spine and we're going to slide the palms out okay to make a w for head down lengthen softly point your toes so be careful okay if you have if you feel the back pain at certain point please keep the head down okay so we're going to do a few levels here so you got to just observe your own body inhale peel the face chest off Okay, this will be a good start, okay, not to come up too high, okay, but if you're all right, you can come up a little bit higher and stay here, okay, and let me just going to slowly, softly point the toes, maybe float the right leg up, and then as we exhale, both leg and head down, okay, relax, let's rock the buttocks. Okay, let's do one more time, coming back to center, so the palm stays down. Now inhale, just peel the face, chest off like that, keeping the neck really long. Only if you feel comfortable, maybe a little bit higher, eyes cube on the belly. Only if you feel comfortable, maybe float the leg up, slightly off the mat, the left leg off. Stay here, inhale, and exhale. Okay, the next one, okay, we're just going to have the hands, okay, make a pillow. We're going to keep the head down like that, relax the neck and shoulders. We gently, okay, if you feel comfortable, not too high, we're going to keep the legs really low. Okay, we're going to have uh, lift the right leg slightly off, maybe two inches off the floor. And then the left leg slightly, just two inches off. Keeping it just like that. Feel more um, of a lengthening. And then if you want, you can just come a little bit higher. Don't force. We do not want you to strain your back. And keep the eyes cube under the belly. Relax the neck and shoulders. Breathing. 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 And slowly release down. So keep the legs really low. Okay, And then from here, rock the buttocks sideways. Now, feet together, we're going to do a counter stretch here. Keep the hands beside, push yourself off the mat, round the lower back. Okay, and then have your sit bone down, hands beside, breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale here, exhale, slowly crawl up, and then we come up. 
Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope that you find it beneficial. So I highly recommend that you practice uh, short practices, but more frequently in a week. So you keep moving your body. So today is episode three. You can also click on the link below for episode one and two. For those of you who are interested in a healing program, I have two free classes for you to try out, okay, which is in my 14 days course that could help you to relieve your back pain in the long run. And let's hope all of us practice frequently, okay, be mindful of our breath, and we are definitely on our way to a pain-free life. So have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next practice. Mm -hmm.